In this video, we are going to show you how to install your Sauna Wellness One Person Sauna. Please take note of the timestamps listed on the screen in case you need to jump to a specific point in the video. Before getting started, you are going to need two people to successfully complete this installation. You will also need a step stool or step ladder for accessing the top of the sauna, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver or drill for fastening the sauna door handle. It is recommended to take the items out of each box before assembly to make the process as easy as possible. Starting with the smallest box, the contents of each box should be as follows. Box C should contain the ceiling unit, the two bench pieces, and the base of the sauna. Box B will contain the left and right walls for the sauna. Lastly, box A will contain both the front and back walls of the sauna, as well as the sauna door handle. Before assembly, decide where your infrared sauna will go, and place the side of your floor panel with the electrical cord closest to the wall. Make sure to allow 6 inches of clearance from the wall for this installation. The first wall to place will be the back wall. This is the wall with the electrical ports and two T-shaped ridges. Set the wall down on the outside of the floor molding and have someone hold it in place. While installer 1 supports the wall, have installer 2 retrieve one of the side panels. These are the panels with the straight line ridges located near the bottom. Place the wall down on the outside of the floor molding and ensure that the fitting is correctly aligned. Then, secure the three buckles by locking them into place. Then, install the third remaining wall panel, following the same procedure as before, ensuring that the walls are aligned and securing the buckles by locking them into place. At this point, go ahead and plug the wall cables, along with the floor cable, into the ports on the back wall. Next, you will want to install the seating bench. The first piece to install is the piece with the heating element. Position the piece horizontally with the heater vents toward the open end of the sauna. Fit the bench piece into the molding grooves on each side of the wall and plug in the power cord into the back wall outlet. Then, slide the top bench piece in between the left and right walls, resting it on the top back ridges and on top of the bench piece with the heating element. You will not need any additional hardware to support the bench. Once it's secured into place, it's safe to sit on. Taking care not to let the door swing open, set the panel on the front side of the base, paying attention that the logo is facing outward. Then, secure the three buckles on each side of the door panel. Using a Phillips screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips drill bit, remove the two screws that are holding the handle pieces together. After separating the handles, grab the exterior handle, the one without the holes, and make sure a set of spacers are on the rails of the handle. With the spacers facing towards the glass, insert the handle into the glass holes from the exterior side of the door. Then, place wooden spacers on the hardware from the interior side of the door, and affix the interior handle. With your drill or screwdriver, drive the screws in just tight enough to hold the handle secure and flush to the door. Be sure not to over-tighten to avoid any risk of cracking the glass. Using two people, lift the ceiling panel onto the four walls with the finished side down and the wiring facing up. Towards the front and back end of the sauna are pre-cut holes to feed the necessary wires through to the ceiling panel. Feed the wires through each pre-cut hole. And then, starting from the back side, connect the two power cables to their appropriate counterparts. Moving over to the front side, connect the white wire in the frontmost cavity of the ceiling. Then, move over to the wires that were fed through the port. Connect the black wire with its counterpart, followed by the white cable, then the blue cable, and finally the power cable. Once that's completed, it's now safe to turn your sauna on. After following along with this video, your sauna should now be completed and ready to use. If you have any questions regarding our infrared saunas, reach out to us at our website at wellness-usa.com or give us a call at 1-800-445-8418.